very good morning, South Africa. Goeie morgen, Suid-Afrika, Mulweni, Mzanzi. Um, thank you very much uh, again for the opportunity to be able to join you. Be in your living room, be in your car, being in your lounge, being at your office. Goeie morgen, goeie morgen, Suid-Afrika. Mulweni, Matlabane. Apai, Mulweni, Kaya. Uh, today is actually a very special day. As you can see, I'm surrounded in a new environment. Uh, normally, we do it from a great shop or a great coffee or a great entity that I've decided that we're going to highlight different businesses every single Wednesday, 9 o'clock. We're not going to do this video just from my office. And wow, Hanley, uh, Louis Swart, Graham, uh, Adanan, Graham Smith, Warren, just keeps on coming. A very good morning. All my love to you. Thank you for joining me. For everybody else that's joining me, uh, blessings this morning. Goeiemorgen allemaal. Baie welkom, Carl. It's baie goed om jou te hee. Roger, my ook pal. I'm coming to you live. Sounds like a TV thing. But I'm coming to you live from, yep, Pretoria this morning. And I don't understand how I got here because I've been five months absolutely locked down. Ek is al vir vijf maande. So it's allemaal by lockdown and Gister aand moes ek invlieg Pretoria toe, Jakaranda stad. So vir al die mense in Pretoria, baie morgen, goeie morgen, morning. En het um, is great om hier te wees. Ek um, het gestrand in een gasthuis geblei. We stayed in a guest house. It's not a guest house, it's a dream. It's an unbelievable place. And it's called the, the Rasmus uh, guest house. It's in Waterkloof, Waterkloof in Pretoria. And let me quickly tell you, if you ever need a place of peace, if you ever need a place to re-energize, reset, and just have good, unbelievable service, then uh, it's worthwhile checking out the Rasmus. My message today, and just to remind you tomorrow, this is what I'm dealing with you very briefly today, will be in the newspapers, independent newspapers, my article now as normal on a Thursday, in the business side of the newspapers, which is the Cape Times, the Star, the Pretoria News, and the Mercury Natal will carry the subject that I'm briefly going to deal with you. South Africa ons het baie, baie werk om te doen. As leiderskap moet die mens kyk en sê, waar is ons landse leiderskap vandag? And we've got to address these problems, because plain and simply, they're not going to address themselves. Maar klaar baie nie, apa se benza, apa nomslaanje, Ah, you come gone, so I'm not And we've got to get back to work. Because it says biblically to us as well that work brings profit. Talk just brings poverty. So I'd like to address just a couple of things. And I know there's a lot of stuff on your heart. And do my hands, now that I'm going to talk it's still for my inbox. I want to hear from South Africa, man. And I want you to do me a favor while you're now sitting there. Anton, Cynthia, Bianca. Amurain, AK, do me a favor, send me some likes right now. Do me a favor, and can you press the like button so that this thing goes viral? So if you're there, just while you're listening to me, send your hearts, send your likes, please, for me, so that we know that this will be shared. The first thing I want to address is the subject matter of SOE, state-owned enterprises. And in specific today, I want to highlight Danel, SAA, Transnet, Eskom, Sassel, and Praza. And I, I, I could take the whole day just to speak about them. I can hear a dag fight, but I don't have the whole day. But tomorrow in my paper, in the article Neil in the Light, I'm addressing this. And I have a very plain, simple statement about state-owned enterprises. Maybe they should not be state-owned. And if they are state-owned, maybe they should be working for us. Because here's a question I want to leave you. Can you today go to a Sasol petrol station, put a hundred rand in your tank, show your South African ID and get a discount because we are funding Sasol? Can you today go to ESCOM, if it's not in load shedding, buy your code and, 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 and token and then add your ID number and you get to what's free? No. So why are you funding them? So it's a plain and simple strategy. While we, the taxpayers, fund SOEs, question mark, what is the benefit to me? Plain SA citizen. What is your benefit? 
om Sasso, Eskom en SAL die hele tijd geld te gee. Krijg jij een discount? Nee. So ons moet het herbissen and we need to go back and say to the state-owned enterprises, you're either in or you are out. Klaar. Jy is of in of uit. Maar ons kan nie halfwees nie. Ne? You can't be half pregnant because that's not pregnant. So I want a re-evaluation, a re-audit, and a re-understanding of all SOEs. And those that are not going to make it, sell off and shut. Those that are, that are really profitable, we can keep. And those that are hanging in the balance, let's partner business people to run businesses. So Braza and all of them fall under the same. Business for business, and politicians must make it easier for business not be in business themselves. Foreign direct investment. Mense, my medeburgers, ons moet oorsee kry om geld hier in te sit. As ons nie oorsee se groepe kry om geld hier in te sit nie, gaan ons nooit ons markt terecht kry. So ons moet ophou geld leen en ons moet meer investeer. Nie meer leen, investeer. No more loans, investment. To do that, you must create a society of investment. And you have to make it eligible to invest here. So we will have to make South Africa attractive again. Tax. Death and taxes. What do we do? Well, we need to make it more attractive by giving tax breaks and tax incentives for our companies to reinvest in infrastructure and the critical investment opportunities of this country. That's how we stimulate our market. Gee tax break en die mense sal meer gee. The answer is not to increase VIT. It's to build more businesses. South Africans, why are we paying so much for data? Data. Hoe kom betaal jy so baie vir jou internet? Well, because the big companies want profit. So, Vodacom, Celsi, MTN, Telkom, cut your profit. Snij jylle profit en geef ons meer data. More profits kill the business. Make it more attractive and we'll buy more gigabytes. We are the most expensive in the world. That must end. We need data and we need it accessible. Finally, there are two major corporates in industries in this country that can employ the most. Construction and agriculture. South Africaners, if we were leading, we would reinvest in infrastructure, construction, and climb into the farmers and give them a break. Give them incentives and give them grants so that they can become competitive. Ons moet die waterrechte terugbring vir die boere. Ons moet vir die boere sê, ons gaan het makkelijker maak. Ons moet vir die boere help. Because a strong farmer is a strong economy and a strong economy employs more people. I know it sounds simple and it is. It starts with leadership. It starts with policy that becomes law. And I get asked every day now by thousands of people, if you were president, what would you do? Well, it's simple, South Africa. I would lead. I would go to every town hall. Ja, daar sê, ek sal een stadsal president wees. Ons sal na elke stadsal toe rei. Elke stadsal, elke boerhuis, elke salkie, wat ons moet terug gaan na die mense toe. We've got to go back. Matlabane, you en, apa nom slange, apa hambala kai, op boila kai, ja, ap on teta in daam. It's time that leadership in this country listens more, and doesn't talk more, but do more for the South African. Have a great week. Have an inspirational day. Mag die Godse reidste sien oor u wees vandag. And may you have a great, great court. In Kosi, Sikelele, i Afrika, but more important, Apa Umzanzi. Bly South Afrikaans, is haar eerste, en ons praat weer. Stier jylle boodskappe, stier jylle liefde, share Hierdie ding in ons try South Africa om. United, we'll be independent and we better start a movement. See you soon.